Hey, so today I'll be showing you how to set up an abiotic factor dedicated server on Windows 10. Now I haven't tested this in Windows 11, um, but it should work there too. And all these steps will be in the description. So, step one, we need to download Steam CMD. So this URL will be in the description. Come to this URL, click on Windows, click on download Steam CMD for Windows, and it will download. And what we could do, now what I'll do before, I'll go to C drive, new folder, and servers. I'll create a new folder in here called Steam CMD. Back to the downloads, right click, extract all. C, servers, Steam CMD. We get back into this folder, we'll have this file here, steamcmd.exe. We just run this. It's going to extract and download all the necessary files. Okay, once that's downloaded, we can just quit out of it. We don't need it at the moment. And we can go back to servers. Now, what we want to do, we want to open up a notepad. and copy and paste the following. This will be in the description as well. Essentially what this does, it says, hey, it's API factor dedicated server download. It opens, it sets this path to Steam CMD, which is why I put it in this folder. So your path is Steam CMD here, go to that. Uh, it then runs Steam CMD using the variable Steam CMD path. It logs in anonymously, sets the install directory to a new directory we set so this will set it to a new folder called abiotic factor and app update and the id so the steam app id for abiotic factor um, it'll just echo once it's done so it'll say complete and it'll wait for us to click any key so you want to file save as uh, you can save this in wherever you want i'm just going to save it c Servers, I'll say call this abiotic download dot bat. I'm gonna make sure it's a dot batch file, B A T, and change to all files and save. Close out of this and double click this here so we can actually see it connects to Steam. Just ignore this error here. It's fine and it starts the update or starts the download should i say abiotic factor as we can see it's done and it closes out now if you don't want to do this you can actually come back to steam cmd run steam cmd and type course install the IR the servers AB or AB or the actor enter so that sets the install directory login anonymous logs in anonymously app underscore update and spell update two eight five seven two zero zero validate i've already downloaded it so it's just going to validate as we can see it's done we can just close out of this okay now we have the server files downloaded whichever method you used we have this folder C servers abiotic factor. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to the following folder abiotic factor, binaries, Win64, and we come to this folder here. Now, this is the actual server files. So, this is what we're going to be creating our batch file. So, again, we'll open a notepad and we will copy from this website. I'll Link in the description, I'll have the commands linked. 
this command here. Copy. Now we have to ensure where our server password and server name is replaced with the correct info. So paste. Now I want it to be two players. Port seven 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 is fine. This is fine as well. Your server password. Maybe on maybe on click is good. Play by five. Obviously put a more secure password. And your server name. Test. Everything else we can leave as normal. File. Save as. And we want to put this into the ABDOC factor binaries, Win64, into this folder here. I'm going to save it as start server. Start server dot bat. All files save. Now we minimize this. If you notice there's a batch file in here. Now we need to run this file. Allow for both private and public when the Windows firewall pops up. And we can just close out of it. Just Y and enter. We'll come back to this later. There's only a few steps left now. So, the first one, if you want to run a brand new server, just copy this to your desktop or create a shortcut and drag it to your desktop. Double click this, it'll start the server. You'll connect with the server IP and the password that you set before, as well as the port. Now, if you want to convert an existing save, you'll want to do the following. Run the ABDIC server as normal, like we did before, but instead, you'll want to go to this PC, C, users, your username, app data, local, ABDIC factor, saved, save games, and a folder with a bunch of numbers. I'm pretty sure this is the Steam ID, so you want to get everything inside this folder. Copy back to Abiotic Factor. Saved. Save games. Server. As we can see, some of these folders match. Paste. Replace. And we have it there. Now in worlds might not be cool save game now what we want to do we want to rename this if this is something you've copy across to s paid just like that and all our data is going to be in here so if i run this server now it's going to start up my existing save from my, my local computer and converting it to a server now you'll want to allow ports 7777 through your firewall and your router for your friends to connect. Your friends will be connecting with your public IP address. So just Google, what is my IP? And give them your IPv4 address. Now, how you will connect, you want to open up a command prompt. IP config. Type. And you want to use your IPv4 address here. So I'm going to be connecting using 192.168.1.168. Enter, join server. Unfortunately, you have to direct connect and IP address. You can paste. 7777. AB. AB Arctic is good. 2025. Join. And as we can see, is my save game so same inventory same stats same everything so yes that's how you set up an abiotic factor dedicated server on windows 10 and probably windows 11 i don't think it will change that much 
Um, if you need a port forwarding tutorial, I'll, I'll link it below. It's nothing to do with me, but might be good to learn. And yeah, have a great rest of your day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are.